guys, Julie Ellender here. Are you happy? Because I'm happy, I hope you're happy. So today we're doing hot glue gun stencils. And right now, um, you see me outside on my back porch. I'm sure you hear the uh, wildlife. They're making a bunch of noise tonight. I've already done a nice little flower, as you can see. And right there, I'm actually working on a pretty little leaf stencil. And I'm gonna use cornstarch to sprinkle on both of these stencils to make sure that they are not gonna stick to themselves or each other when I put them away. Now, there we go. I'm gonna rub all of that in there really well and I'm gonna pick out all of the spider webs. It's the hot glue spider webs, that's what I call them. And, all right, and they're gonna be ready to pull up now. I try to pull them up by the thickest part of the stencil. That way uh, I don't end up ripping the stencil because that can happen. And there's my pretty little leaf. And I'm gonna turn those over and I'm gonna go ahead and rub the side that was uh, face down on the mat. I'm gonna rub those in some cornstarch to make sure both sides are non-stick. And I'm gonna clean that up with my handy dandy little baby wipe. Right, and now I'm gonna work on a tree. And right now I'm doing the base of the tree, the tree trunk. And I actually have uh, another glue stick in my, I have two glue sticks in my nice little glue gun, uh, just to make sure that I'm getting enough glue. I push down on it to make sure I have enough glue coming out of the, the glue gun for my branches. And when you start doing your branches, you can just do them sporadically everywhere. And I always make sure that the ones that um, are on the bottom are touching somewhere, uh, the branches on the top. So I make sure that the stencil is actually connected. It makes it look a little more realistic that way. And sometimes you'll have to go back over the branches if you don't think you have enough glue on them. I like my stencils to be thick. That way they don't tear as easily. I've had that happen quite a bit. Sometimes you, you pull the stencil up and it tears and it breaks away from the rest of the stencil and you either just have to give up and start over or uh, do what I do and just keep repairing with the glue gun, which can be a bit of a trial I've found going back over some of the branches there, ones that aren't thick enough to my liking. Adding a few more maybe. All right, and here I go sprinkling that cornstarch on there. Now wait till the glue is uh, quite cool before you start to uh, rub that cornstarch in there. I actually had an accident the other day and got a nice little hot glue gun burn on my hand and that is not a fun little injury to have so just make sure make sure make sure that it is cool before you do this now I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up and I pulled up from the bottom that's the thickest part so it wouldn't tear and there's my pretty little tree I'm going to take that bottom side and rub that in the cornstarch to make sure it doesn't stick. And there we go, cleaning up my mess again. All right, so now it's ready to use. And I've already uh, sprayed a little bit of a background on this page. I'm just going to take my homemade blue uh, spray ink and spray that on there. And I actually, uh, I'm using a baby wipe to, to kind of dab the stencil a little bit and to get some of the uh, puddles off of there. It's going to stain your stencil no matter what. And we pulled it off and there we go. There you have your pretty little tree. And there you have it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye!